Hi, it's Debs from Soul Harmony Yoga, round two for our Facebook Live this week. So I'm going to be answering two questions I get asked all the time. Um, and the second question I get asked a lot is um, how can I, how do I know if I'm practicing safely, particularly if you're a beginner to yoga and you know, we're used to the concept of having a teacher face to face. Oh, so really more of a concern is how do people know that they're going to be safe when they're practicing online yoga if they haven't got a teacher to point out, um, you know, what they might be doing wrong with alignments and things like that. So the first thing I would say to you is we do have a safety briefing on our website that I get everybody to read before you start the classes. Uh, and that's got all the contraindications of if you've, if you've got, you know, high blood pressure, you wouldn't hold your hands up in the air for too long, those kind of things. And I do have some reminders in the classes as I'm teaching as well. Um, it's really important that when you're practicing, and this was the same in my face-to-face -face teaching, that you tune into your body and how your body feels because you're the person that is going to know if something feels right for you or if it doesn't. And over time, as you're practicing yoga, I constantly invite you to trust in your body, trust what you're feeling and know if, you know, today your practice is gentle. Sometimes I just do a relaxation because I know that a physical yoga practice isn't what I need and that's absolutely fine. You don't always have to be doing a full physical yoga practice to practice yoga. Sometimes it's just as simple as being mindful of how you're feeling um, on a day-to-day -day basis. So, yeah, so taking time to be present in your body and trusting in how you feel. If there are particular um, issues that you're working with at the moment, there might be a particular spinal injury, then I would always advise you to get advice from the health practitioner that you're working with. Tell them you want to do some yoga classes and they will tell you what things will be um, supportive to help your body to heal and also things to avoid. So, for example, with if you're struggling with sciatica, then you wouldn't go into a forward bend. It's an absolute no-no. So things like that, that you can get tips from your health practitioner so that when you see them on the video, you go, ah, for me right now, that's not going to be a good thing. And again, I do mention them as um, I go through the classes. Okay, what else have we got? So on the actual videos, and I do this in my face-to-face -face teaching as well, I will, if there's a sequence that we're going to be doing, I will always demonstrate it first. And obviously, when you're watching on the videos, a lot of my students say that they love it because they can play it back as well. So you would, oh, I'm not quite sure about this, watch it first and then go through it afterwards. Um, and if you're not sure of something, you can just play it back and watch it again. So that, whereas in a face-to-face -face yoga class, sometimes you can miss something and you just have to catch up. So that's one of the things that I like about online yoga is that I can actually do it at my pace. Um, and if I need to pause to go to the loo or whatever, then I can and I can just continue the class without missing anything. Okay, so, yep, yeah, you would see the demonstration, follow instructions after the demonstration and I will always give you key alignment points so these are points that you places that you put your feet and um, that you would hold your arms that you hold your shoulders back chest is lifted just key points so that you can start to feel into the postures um, so you listen out for those in the video and that's how you know that your body's in alignment and it might be that when you first start out that you practice in front of a mirror if that feels comfortable for you so that you can see the video, see yourself and you'll know straight away. So usually it, you will feel as you go through. Initially there's lots to think about in a yoga class um, but once you've done quite a few classes, you know, three, four, five, six classes, you start to go a little bit deeper into your practice and you're noticing things that you didn't notice at first because there was all those other things to think about with your breath and where are my arms, where are my legs and that kind of thing. So that's really important too, to listen to the um, alignment points.